This year, more than 38,000 people will take the next steps in their medical careers and participate in the National Residency Matching Program. In this video, I'm going to discuss the factors that are most important to program directors when selecting residency applicants. As you decide where to apply for residency and in what specialty, it is important to understand the data outlined in the following three documents. The NRMP Program Director Survey, the main residency match data and reports, and finally, charting outcomes in the match from 2018. So let's get started now. I'm Dr. Jessica Friedman, founder and chair of MedEdit's Medical Admissions. I have spent the last two decades advising students on how to strategically navigate the residency match. My career in residency admissions started when I was a resident myself, interviewing applicants and progressed to my role as an associate residency director at the Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York City. However, I have learned the most about the residency match over the past 12 years while advising applicants privately with my team at MedEdits Medical Admissions. At MedEdits, we review several sets of data annually to understand the trends in residency admissions. First, we look at the results of the program director survey linked in the comments below to better understand what is most important to program directors in different specialties when choosing residents. The program director survey tells us the five most important factors across all specialties that program directors use when deciding whom to interview for residency positions. They are your USMLE Step 1 or Comlex Level 1 score, your letters of recommendation in the specialty to which you are applying, your MSPE or Dean's Letter, the USMLE Step 1 or Comlex Level 2 CE score, and finally, your personal statement. When deciding which applicants to rank after interviews, these are the top five factors that program directors consider. Interactions with faculty during the interview and visit, your interpersonal skills, your interactions with house staff during interview day and visit, feedback from other residents, and your USMLE Step 1 or Comlex Step 1 score. As you can see, how you do on interview day is what is most important with regards to being ranked highly. Next, we review the NRMP match data to examine residency match trends and competitiveness. Based on this data, March 2019 saw the largest residency match in history. More than 35,000 positions were offered in the match. There were more than 44,000 registrants in total, and the position fill rate was 95%. Here are some notable trends from the NRMP match. Nearly 19,000 U.S. seniors entered the match and 94 matched to PGY-1 positions. Due to a single MDDO residency accreditation system, 6,000 DO candidates submitted program choices and a nearly 85% match to PGY-1 positions, which was the highest match rate in history for that group. 5,000 U.S. IMG submitted rank order lists and nearly 3,000 matched to PGY-1 positions, which is a 59% match rate. Nearly 7,000 non-U.S. citizen IMGs participated in the match and nearly 59% matched to first-year positions, which is 2.5 percentage points higher than in 2018 and the highest match rate for this group since 1990. As you can see, the competitiveness for both U.S. and non-U.S. citizen IMGs is extremely high. By understanding how different groups of applicants perform in the match, we review charting outcomes also published by the NRMP. As with the other reports I've mentioned in this video, you'll find them links below in the description section. Charting outcomes consists of three reports, one for U.S. allopathic seniors, one for U.S. osteopathic seniors, and finally, one for both U.S. and non-U.S. citizen international medical graduates or IMGs. There are many data points in charting outcomes in the match that will help you determine how competitive you are for a specific specialty. One of the most common reasons that students do not match is because they are not realistic about how competitive they are for a given specialty. 
However, the data in these reports is extensive and too much to cover in this video, but here are some highlights. For US allopathic seniors, the highest percentage of matches in preferred specialties were pediatrics, internal medicine, and child neurology. For osteopathic seniors, the highest percentage of preferred matches were in pathology, internal medicine, and again, child neurology. For international medical graduates, the highest percentage of preferred matches were in pediatrics, pathology, and anesthesiology. When preparing for the residency match and deciding what specialty to pursue, there are many things you can do to increase your chances of matching. First of all, be realistic about your competitiveness for the specialty and programs you wish to pursue. If necessary, consider a backup specialty. Each piece of the application, including your USMLE or COMLEX scores, letters of evaluation, personal statement, grades in the specialty, electives and research for some specialties, and medical school prestige determine whether or not you will receive an interview. And once you have that interview, how you are perceived on interview day is the largest predictor of how you will be ranked. At MedEdits, we have worked with a huge spectrum of applicants to every specialty in the match, so we understand what it takes for each student, depending on his or her distinctive interests, goals, background, and circumstances to have the absolute best chances of matching into the specialty of his or her choice. Thank you for listening to this video and watching, and please subscribe to the channel and visit our website, www.mededits.com. And good luck in the match.